highlights. Lagos State Government issues advisory on prevention of drowning. Niger State Government declares state of emergency on thuggery. On the foreign scene, Australian police identifies attacker of Sydney Shopping Centre. And in sport, World Boxing Federation champion Aino Abbey suffers first career defeat in France. Now, the details. I'm Sarah Adesaya. the recent tra tragic uh, incident of drowning in the state, the Lagos State Government has issued an urgent advisory to all public facilities, including beaches and swimming pools, to address strictly to the Lagos State Swimming Pool Regulations of 2021. This measure is to ensure the safety of all residents and visitors engaged in aquatic activities. The Director General of the Lagos State Safety Commission, Larry Mojala, stated that reported cases of increase in drowning incident with quantum loss of lives in the past few weeks is unimaginable. Mojala said the government urges facility operators to ensure the presence of certified lifeguards during operational hours, display clear safety rules and emergency procedures, and conduct regular safety audits and maintenance checks. They are also to provide appropriate safety equipment, including first aid kit, and enforce strict adherence to safety guidelines by all patrons. It said the Lagos State Government is taking proactive steps to enforce these regulations and will not hesitate to apply penalties to any facility found in violation. The Lagos State Swimming Pool Regulations was established to create a sustainable safety culture, outline critical safety policies, standards, and practices key provisions which includes the presence of trained lifeguards, proper signages, incident reporting protocols, and restriction on alcohol usage and fire around pool areas. The educational arm of the Lagos State Waste Management Authority, Loma Academy, has welcomed a fresh set of candidates for its one-month internship in April. The interns are all recent graduates of various universities in the country across different academic disciplines. Addressing the participants, Managing Director and CEO of LOMA, Muiwa Badegeshi, congratulated them for making the internship program, saying it will assist them to learn as much as possible about waste management and its inherent benefits. Badegeshi noted that waste is not waste but resources, urging them to embrace the business opportunities offered by the circular economic value chain, while so-called waste becomes wealth and blessing to individuals, society, and environment. Stakeholders in the health sector have identified the need to bridge nutritional gaps to improve quality of life, particularly in children and women of childbearing age who are prone to iron deficiency and other health and nutritional related cases. They describe iron deficiency as a preventable health condition that can be managed by practicing healthy lifestyle like eating right, regular dewarming, dietary, di dietary diversification, amongst others. The stakeholders made this known at a capacity building workshop held in Aguara area, Omogon State, with the theme fortification as a strategy. They also encouraged consumption of foods that contain adequate nutrients and called for more awareness and advocacy programs as well as strong collaboration among stakeholders to bridge nutritional gaps. And now to the rest of the stories, the Niger State Government has declared a state of emergency on thuggery in the state. To this end, security operatives have been directed to go after any hoodlum caught with weapon disturbing the peace of residents, especially in the state capital, Mina. These directly follow the res resurgence of thuggery in Mina, which led to the killing of a member of a vigilante group, looting of shops, and attacking law abiding citizens. Governor Mohammed Bago also ordered house to house arrests of thugs and demolition of houses. This miscreant uses hiding grounds, noting that the state had zero tolerance to rascality and thuggery as such, will not allow anyone to create unnecessary panic among residents. <laughs> The 
Maryland Police and Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, have warned against the activities of perpetrators using a fake website to scam candidates applying for the forthcoming Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME. The police and JAM, during a joint press conference held at the force headquarters, Lewis Edit House, Abuja, noted that these fake sites are designed to deceive innocent candidates into providing personal details such as registration numbers, email addresses, and phone numbers which are then exploited for malicious purposes. Police Public Relations Officer Ulumuiwa Adejabi and spokesperson for JAMP Fabian Benjamin noted that the emergence of several fake websites created by unscrupulous individuals with the intention of misleading candidates necessitated the joint press briefing. The duo condemned the perpetrators while reiterating their readiness to safeguard the interests of candidates and maintain the integrity of the examination process. Australian police have identified a knife-wielding man who killed six people in a Sydney shopping centre before being shot dead. He was identified as Joel Kochi, a 40-year-old man who sent the crowd Westfield Bondi Junction complex into panic on the Saturday when he began stabbing people with a long blade. Five women and a man died, while several others, including a baby, were left injured. Authorities said the attack was most likely related to the mental health of Kochi. New South Wales Police Commissioner Karen Webb told reporters on Sunday that it will unveil the motive behind the attack and the line of inquiry. Webb added that she would not describe the stabbing as an act of terror, reiterating that police believe there was no ideological motivation. <laughs> International Super Flyweight Champion Aino Abi has suffered a first career defeat to IBO Intercontinental and WBC Youth World Bantamweight Champion JC Marcel at the Zenith Metropole in Nantes, France. French woman Marcel handed Abi a majority decision defeat after eight rounds of their female Bantamweight contest fight. It was a contest of unbeaten fighters with the Nigerian entering the ring with a perfect record of 11 wins and 9 KOs, but now holds a career record of 11-0-1 following the loss. On a part, 22-year-old Marcel has now increased her on beating run to 13 wins with the two career KO victories. <laughs> Just before we go, please do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X Traffic Radio 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, Traffic Radio 961.ng. Did you know that Solar Administration renovated five libraries? Ekpe, Badagri, Etiosa, Amuwa Duffy, and Dikorodu. You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To win the news, hear the highlight of the major stories. A light of the recent tragic incident of drowning in the state, the Lagos State Government has issued an urgent advisory to all public facilities, including beaches and swimming pools, to adhere strictly to the Lagos State Swimming Pool Regulations of 2021. The Niger State Government has declared a state of emergency and foggery in the state. We also told you that Australian police have identified the knife-wielding man who killed six people in Sydney shopping centre before being shot dead. And in sport, WBF International Super Flyweight Champion Aino Abe has suffered a first career defeat to IBO Intercontinental and WBC Youth World Bantamweight Champion J.C. Marcel at the Zenith Metropole in Nantes, France. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is the news broadcast compiled by Adewale Uluwakoroku. I'm Sarah Adesoya.